Hello adventurers, I'm Dennis Spillman and today on this video of Uncovering Oklahoma I'm going to take you around Oklahoma City and show you from morning to night a whole list of full day of activities that you can do by yourself without feeling awkward. I know in these winter months people can feel really lonely and depressed and maybe want to get out and have some fun but just not quite sure what to do without feeling awkward. Well this video is for you. I'm going to take you around the city uh, and I have several special guests joining me and no that's not irony it's actually validation to kind of show off some things you can do without feeling awkward so you can get out have fun so, and have an adventure so let's get started. Hi I'm Gunnar Hood one of the organizers at One Million Cups Oklahoma City. We are an entrepreneur based organization that supports education and the sharing of ideas among entrepreneurs. We meet every Wednesday at 9 a.m. here at Starspace 46, which is at 1121 West Sheridan Avenue. We're open to everybody. Uh, it's free, free coffee, and it's a great place for individuals, solopreneurs, or people who lead larger organizations to come and meet other people and learn from each other. Hi, my name's Elena Hughes. I'm one of the partners at Elemental Coffee. Um, I feel like our coffee shop is a great place to come by yourself, whether it's for lunch or a cup of coffee or a pastry. Tree, um, some place that you can come maybe study. There's always somebody here that you probably will know and even if you don't know anyone there's always someone who's willing to join in on conversation or introduce themselves. Hi my name is Benjamin Knuckles. I'm one of the co-owners of Commonplace Books here in Midtown. When we opened Commonplace it was our highest hope that it would be a hub of community for the neighborhood and it has not disappointed. It has been just that. Each and every day people walk through these doors um, with a story to tell. They're in a moment and season of life and we consider it a great privilege to be able to intersect with them on their life's journeys. One of a uh, quote that we love around here is by C.S. Lewis. He says that we read to know that we're not alone. And that's one of the things that we believe uh, and, and, and hold dear here at Commonplace is that you can read to know that you're not um, alone. We believe books are a powerful medium to connect people to one another. And they're also a powerful way for us to connect to ourselves. And so regardless of who you are, young, old, married, single, you name it, you're welcome here at Commonplace Books. And we believe this will be a place uh, where you can ultimately uh, not be alone. Joining me for lunch on this uh, day by yourself. I, I know the irony, I have somebody with me, but this guy's a food expert, so. Hi, hey, I'm Greg? a food expert. <laughs> uh, Greg, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Greg Elwell. I am the eater in chief of IAteOklahoma.com, and uh, I eat a lot of meals alone because I am a pretty unpleasant person, so. So, <laughs> so for lunch, Greg has recommended the Paseo Grill here in the Paseo District. Yeah. So, Greg, what do you like about this place? Uh, well, I mean, first off, the food. Um, whether you are alone or you're with a bunch of other people, the food here is really great. They've got a lot of great appetizers. The the um, our server was telling us earlier about the new charcuterie plate, which sounded really good. Um, but the other thing is the Paseo Grill has a lot of um, curtains uh, that sort of hide some uh, tables away um, so you can have some privacy and if you are feeling awkward about eating alone, being able to sort of shield yourself and so no one knows that you're eating alone, that can be a little, that, that's a nice uh, Yeah, that thing. is really nice. Yeah, you kind of can't really see in the shop, but yeah, it is pretty intimate in a way. Absolutely, so. absolutely. Uh, you know, so if you ever want to be intimate with yourself, <laughs> do it at home. Uh, but uh, the, the other thing they have is a wonderful bar um, and, you know, a couple of TVs. Um, that's one thing that uh, when I was asking people on Twitter about where to eat uh, by yourself, um, everybody said any place with a bar. Um, you know, it's, it's you're facing forward. Um, no one's expecting you to have those conversations. And uh, usually there's a TV up or something like that. So. And plus you get the bartender to have a little bit of batter. But exactly. it's not like super awkward. We're like you know, like a, with a server as well, you know, they're yeah. kind of working with other people. Too. Yeah, um, you know, and a lot of people, um, people are always talking about how we need to put away our phones and things like that. And and to a certain extent, I agree. However, in the world of, of uh, solo dining, having a phone, bringing a book, can be a really great way to to keep yourself occupied and and also sort of put out that vibe that it's like, look, I mean to be here alone. Um, 
I'm not uncomfortable being alone. Uh, and that's really a huge part of it is, is the attitude uh, of solo dining. You can, you can truly eat anywhere by yourself and it not be awkward if you just go into it by saying, this isn't awkward. This is just a normal thing. Sometimes people are alone and it's okay. Yeah, it's totally okay. <laughs> they're, they're alone and they're hungry. This seems like a good time to, to go out. And so, well, I'm hungry uh, yeah. right now, so why don't you talk about what we, we ordered for lunch? Sure, absolutely. So uh, this is the Paseo Grill's chicken pot pie. Um, uh, made in very limited quantities, uh, so you kind of have to get here early. Yeah, first uh, come, first serve. First, com first <laughs> come, first serve. Um, so it's you this take a bite. It's <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful that looks gorgeous. flaky crust, and then underneath, potatoes, uh, carrots, chicken, uh, and gravy, and um, and it's it's got this uh, uh, slight curry sauce to it, which is which is a nice spin on it. But um, yeah, this is wonderful. This is something that I, I always look forward to, especially in these cold months, you know. Um, and then you yeah. got this gorgeous uh, croque madame. And a croque madame is a, a traditional French dish. Um, it, it's kind of like an open-faced ham and cheese sandwich uh, made with uh, this, uh, this very creamy uh, sauce called a bechamel sauce, which is literally just like butter, flour, and milk. Um, and then uh, um, it's got ham, prosciutto, and uh, an over medium egg on top. And so, uh, again, this is, as far as winter dishes go, it's incredibly rich, it's very filling, and it's, it's luxurious, and it's a little bit messy, which, which is kind of the ideal food to eat when you're alone, because no, there's no, one judging no one's you. judging you. You know, um, you don't want to take a lot of dates to a chicken wing place because nobody looks uh, attractive when they're eating chicken wings. And, and I've tried. <laughs> Believe me, I've tried. I've tried. So uh, hard. I'll take your word for it. Okay. All right, so we're going to dine in and uh, see you at the next place. Mm -hmm. Another great thing that you can do by yourself is, of course, visit an art gallery or an art museum such as the Oklahoma City Museum of Art and here to validate that going to the art museum or the art gallery is fun and fine by yourself. I have Brian to tell me about the art museum and why going Sorry. to art gallery is totally cool by yourself. Oh yeah. And actually I do it often, Dennis. Like I'll I'll need a break, even though I work at a really cool place. I have the opportunity just to walk to the gallery. Um, and sit and just take it all in for my pause or tranquility. Um, there are lots of visitors who visit the museum by themselves. Um, maybe they're solo um, experience seekers, they're looking for a place to chill and rejuvenate. You can even pop in your earbuds, listen to the audio guide or your f favorite playlist, and the world just kind of melts away and you get absorbed into the art. Perhaps you want to um, visit on a Sunday. You could have brunch at the museum cafe and then wander the galleries by yourself um, or shop in the museum store for those last minute presents or birthday gifts. And uh, again, just wander around and take your time um, exploring whatever you want. Yeah, so basically really any art gallery is just a yeah. great place to go by yourself, uh, including current studio for experimental and new art experiences. Art Space at Untitled for really cool contemporary art. JRB Art at the Elms for painting, sculpture, jewelry from artists all over the world. Individual artists of Oklahoma supporting experimental and thought-provoking Oklahoma artists. And or if you like street art or public art, visit the Plaza Walls. The Plaza District also has lots of local retail for shopping by yourself too. For an afternoon pick me up on the solo adventure day, I'm at OK Yeah, and I have a special guest joining me, Brett Dickerson of OKC Free Press. Brett, tell everybody a little bit about yourself or what you do. Well, I'm, I'm publisher, writer, photographer, pretty much everything, webmaster for Oklahoma City Free Press. Um, started that publication a little over a year ago. I'd been a freelance reporter and news photographer here in the city uh, for several years and uh, uh, so you know doing doing this kind of work I have to move around a lot and so I uh, work in my car uh, work at home I work in different coffee shops and so I you know I kind of circulate around a lot of different coffee shops here in Oklahoma City 
um, just kind of all over the city. Mm -hmm. And uh, OK, yeah, is a really unique place because the, the owner and his wife are just in here every day. The, the owner made my latte for me this morning uh, when I met somebody else here. This is a good place to meet. Uh, it's a good place to come by yourself. It's a good place to have a meeting also. And, you know, you, you kind of see a full range of that kind, kind of activity. And it's very... Uh, tranquil here with all the plants here as well. And it's, it's certainly not like any other coffee shop you will go to in the city. Well, of course, you know this is mid after this is the afternoon, so I'm actually drinking some tea. Um, so yeah, and there's a lot of other great things to do in Film Row by yourself. I also want to give a shout out to Oklahoma City Improv. Go see some comedy, that'll cheer you up. Uh, they have shows going all the time, so check them out. So if you're having a solo adventure day and you're just relaxing at a coffee shop, bookstore, or wherever, and you just want to read up on some news, be sure to check out freepressokc.com. Thanks, Dennis. Uh, I, I really enjoy that, that uh, project. It's one of the most important projects that I've done um, ever, ever in my life. Um, it's, it's a product of this community. Uh, it's street level news, community news uh, from Oklahoma City. We just cover a lot of lanes that aren't being covered right now. All right, and thank you for doing that. All right, and now let's go to the next place. Hi, I'm Jose Rodriguez, the owner of Flashback Retro Pub, and we'd love to welcome you out this Christmas season. If you're at home alone and you want to come out and have some fun by yourself, what better place to come than Flashback Retro Pub? We've got over 50 games to choose from, always free to play, and a great selection of craft beers, seasonal and year-round brews that you can choose from, both local and regional. We've got a lot of great things going on this Christmas season, from our ugly Christmas sweater party to our New Year's Eve bash. Plenty of fun to go around. Don't have to bring someone, you can always come alone and have a lot of fun. Hey, it's uh, Greg Elwell again. Uh, so now we're doing uh, solo dinner, and uh, this time I am at Yuzo Sushi Tapas on uh, an automobile alley on Broadway. Um, this is one of my favorite places to come. The sushi is excellent, the ambiance is really great. And again, sitting at the bar, perfect place to be when you are alone, uh, especially at a sushi bar because you're gonna be able to talk with those sushi chefs and, and give them some idea of what, what it is you want, what you like, and they can, they can kinda help guide you along. So uh, this is an omakase sushi plate, which means it's chef's choice. Uh, so uh, scallop, uh, hamachi, salmon, um, escalar, and tuna, um, and all really wonderful fish, um, fresh made, and and uh, and just wonderful, wonderful stuff here. Uh, they also have ramen. They have um, sushi rolls, things like that. It's a great place to come if you've got guests. But but I really love coming here uh, solo and just uh, enjoying the sushi uh, by myself. Feel free to check out my website, i8oklahoma.com, for, uh, for more food reviews, and uh, we'll go on to the next segment. My name is Danielle Dotson, and I'm with Downtown OKC. One of the things you can do to wrap up your evening alone is head down to Historic Automobile Alley and see the light display. There's over 180,000 LED lights lighting up Northwest 4th through Northwest 10th along Broadway. Then head over to the Bricktown Canal where you can have a free holiday water taxi ride and see the holiday decorations all throughout Bricktown. I'm Heidi Brandis. I am a local freelance journalist here in Oklahoma City. And uh, Picasso is actually one of my favorite places to come and just have a glass of wine. A lot of times I'm covering different things downtown. I live way up north side. So I have an hour or two downtime between assignments. and. I like coming here and just setting up my computer or having a glass of wine and relaxing because it's not too loud. You know, sometimes you get into the coffee shops and you're trying to do phone interviews or just think and there's all this noise and music and I like it here because I can just chill, have this amazing, they have the most amazing wine by the way, really good wines here and just kind of chill out. But it never fails. Every time I'm here, somebody walks in that I know. So I'm never lonely when I'm here. So as you've seen today, there is plenty to do. 
in Oklahoma City by yourself, uh, even in the winter months. So, uh, thank you for watching. If you want to leave a comment on some of the places that you like to do by yourself, please do. Uh, if you know a friend that you know is always looking for something to do, share it with them. And if you love what I'm doing, become a patron and help support out the show so we can travel to more places and uncover more great things. So, thank you for watching.